Hi, my name is Gary Brower from Gary Brower Guitar Repair in San Francisco. I'm here to show you how to change your strings on your guitar. So this, we're going to do a classical, uh, which lends itself to its own uh, set of problems. So pick a nice string, uh, something you know or you use. Uh, the Dunlop strings are nice. They come in an airtight pack. It keeps them fresh. Don't want to start off with rusted or old strings. So the trick with putting on uh, the nylon strings is to keep them from slipping, especially the, uh, the high E, since it's so slippery. So one of the tricks you do is you don't tie it in a knot. So I'll show you what you do. You have the tail stick out. You bring it back towards the string, and what you're going to do is you're wrapping it around. You can go either way. You can go that way, you can go this way, doesn't matter. And then the key is you're doing little circles. So you're going under, under the string once. I go three times on the high E, twice on the B and G, and uh, once on the wound strings. So we go three times. And your tail end, the final wrap that goes around and out, is on the back side of the bridge. So it locks itself over the corner, if you can see that. And then you're going to push down the front edge here. So it's a nice compact wind. So that keeps the string from slipping at the bridge. The rest of the operation, you're going to want to try to keep a little tension uh, on that as you pull it through. So you go to the tuner. You can start by taking the tuning machine and having the hole go straight up and down. And uh, I always keep a pencil around uh, to lubricate the nut slots. It helps keep the strings from sticking in them, which will give you uh, a creaking, a tinking sound as you're tuning. Uh, a lot of people mistake it for a bad tuner. Uh, more often than not, it's the string sticking in the nut. So always keep a pencil around in your guitar toolkit. Now the way I do it, it's a little trickier, but I go down behind the tuner, and then I'll come back up from the bottom. A little tricky, but you can do it. Leave about a hand's worth of string on top, and then I'm going to take the string and I'm going to wrap around, take the tail and wrap it around once on the string that's left over. While you're holding them both, you're just going to wind it down. I wind the high E string towards the outside of the peg head. So you keep it in nice smooth wrap and you're winding it towards the outside of the peg head to keep it smooth and also to keep it out of the way of the others. If you wound it too far in, uh, they could run into each other. And the key is to wrap the string, the reason you wrap it around is again, it locks over itself. It's not tied in a knot, it's just crossing over itself to keep it locked in place. So then after you're done, cut it there. And there's a couple schools of thought on the uh, bridge. You can leave the tail and wrap the next string around it. <clears throat> I'll show you. Do a couple from this side. You take the tail and you put the string underneath it. And you do, uh, again, I do, I do two wraps on the B string and two wraps on the uh, G. So again, I just did the same, it's, it's hard to see, but I did the same looping motion. I went underneath and underneath twice, and it comes out behind the back corner of the bridge. And now I have the high E string underneath that, and it keeps it neat, it keeps it from rattling on the top of the guitar. And you could also just cut the string off short too. Uh, if it's locked in place, it won't slip. Um, I know some people uh, take a, a lighter and they burn the end of the string. Uh, there's many methods. This is just a nice, tidy way to do it. And again, I'll, I'll move on to this end. Lube the nut slot. I have the hole going 
straight up and down. I feed it uh, through the back. And you leave your hand where it's, I know it's hard to see, but I'm just taking the string. So the string comes through and I'm wrapping it around, just like that. So it just is twisted. You don't have to leave quite as much string as I just did. It'd be quicker if you don't, but. And you have a nice tidy wrap. Pull the string tight, make sure it's not slipping at all. Cut it off. And there you have that one. And then when you move on to the, uh, let's see here, the D string. This is where, if you're comfortable, you can just do one wrap uh, around. So do it a little slower. You bring it through and you go under the tail and there, or under the main string. You have a nice tight uh, curve going around the string. And then have the final part of the string be behind the edge of your bridge. So it's behind like that. And again, you can wrap twice if you like, if you feel more uh, you know, secure or you want to do it. It won't, it won't hurt anything. The larger strings, you don't always have room to wrap twice. But you have it going out. Same thing, loop the nut. Go around the tuner. This is where it gets tricky. And again, just take the string and wrap around the tail, wrap around once, hold it up. I'll do this one the old fashioned way and just wrap it. Uh, I wrap the uh, two center strings towards the center of the peg head going in and I wrap the uh, middle strings going in and then the outside strings I wrap out. And there you go. So after you get all the strings on your guitar, I like to give them a stretch to uh, seat them. Uh, the Dunlop strings have a quicker break-in period, uh, so you don't really want to stretch them real far. You never want to do that anyway. Uh, it can injure the string, it can stretch out the wraps. Do you give them a light tug to seat them at the tuner and to seat it at the bridge? Just kind of pull this way, pull that way not kinking the string, you're very gentle about it, uh, not a real physical activity. Then you tune it up and you're good to go. Thank you very much. Good luck stringing your guitars. Mm -hmm.